Hey guys, and welcome back to Good Earth Homestead and Eden's Angora, where you can learn all about homesteading, fiber arts, and Angora rabbits and Angora rabbit care. So today I wanted to film a little over my shoulder spinning lesson with a gorgeous bat that I actually have available in my Etsy shop. It's so luscious and soft. It's made with merino dyed purple and this electric blue, which I'm just in love with. And it also has chocolate German Angora in it from my own herd. Um, and it also has some really neat little intact mohair curls that were hand dyed by a lady named Sarah. It's just, I love this bat so much. So I'm gonna feature it in my over the shoulder spinning lesson and kind of show you how it works and what you can make with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just take the yarn, I've been spinning it for a while, and I'm gonna lay it into my fiber supply and hold it right there. Then I'm gonna get my wheel going with my other hand, and we'll get spinning. Um, one of my favoriteest things about this bat is that if you don't like how a section is coming out, like it's not interesting enough, maybe it turns solid purple or or it has a little too much angora, like right there, maybe that's a little too light for you. You can take the bat and just grab a different section and lay it in there and change up the colors at will. <laughs> maybe you'll do a little better job than I just did transitioning. I like to spin this as a little more of a thick and thin yarn and just let it be what it wants to be. I love when the blue and the purple grab each other and they create that spiral of different colors within a single strand, which I feel like is very unique. Usually, if we want to create a barber pole or a different striped yarn, we'll do one single of purple and then maybe one single of chocolate angora but with this particular bat, it enables you to have these intricate patterns and stripes, and they're just gorgeous. Um, let me show you within a finished yarn, if you can, yeah, see that? See within this single, now this one of the singles is striped and the other one is solid blue. And then how this one turned out was one of them being striped with um, purple and chocolate angora and the other one being solid purple. There's just so many different variations and patterns within the yarn. Now, this one section is pure chocolate angora and then kind of all of the colors mixed together in the other single, and this is a finished plied yarn. So it just creates a very interesting final product um, that is really unique and you can't really find it anywhere else. That's something that I love about creating these, these hand spun yarns. Is they're just so unique, it's not something that you'll find anywhere else. And especially if you're making a gift for someone for a special occasion, they're truly getting something um, with, in this case, my personality in it, and you'll add your personality into it with your spinning style. And they're getting something that they can't get anywhere else in the world. And I do hold true to that, like my, my bats that I create when I run out of them, I don't always keep them in stock. I like to let my creativity ebb and flow with different fibers and, and do what inspires me. And that also ensures that my hand spinning customers are getting something that's very unique. It's not something that I always have in stock. It's a limited edition, if you will. Now, I'm not that worried about this little, um, I don't even know what you'd call that. It has some, some stray fibers in there and I'm not that worried because of the style of yarn that I'm spinning. But this is a fairly smooth bat 
and you can get a nice consistent yarn from it too if that's something that you want. For me personally, as I mentioned, this time I'm doing a yarn with just a ton of personality. I want it to just scream at whoever wears it. <laughs> um, it wants to be noticed. So I'm just going to show you, whoops, see now, okay, we're getting into a lot of Angora. So I'm just going to grab a different section of the bat. I haven't seen a lot of blue in a while, so I'm going to grab this blue section and that's actually right on a mohair curl. And I'm just going to stretch that out. The mohair curls are a lot stiffer than the rest of the fiber. So I'm actually going to pick that apart and then hold it. And we'll just let that go. Now we're getting some nice curly section. And you can see by my finger how hard I'm having to pull on that. I'm gonna separate it out. And go back into the rest of the rest of the bat. beautiful when the three of those colors combine. So this is chocolate German Angora, but if you know anything about Angoras, um, as their wool grows, the color saturation separates a little bit because the color has to cover the entirety of the wool shaft. As the hair shaft grows, the color becomes less deep. So it's more of um, kind of an off-white color, really, but it technically came from a chocolate German Angora. It's funny though, because if I were to use white instead of chocolate, you would notice a huge difference, and it just, the chocolate has a lot of soul, I feel. I'm gonna go back to blue here. I'm missing my blue. And this is another area where this bat allows you to just show off your own personality. Maybe you want your colors to be a lot more consistent than mine, or you want it striped the whole way, and you can achieve whatever you want. Um, a more of a gradiated effect, or you can make your color changes really abrupt. It really is entirely up to you. I like enabling a lot of expression with my bats because really they are just a tool that you can use to express yourself in your own art. The bats might be my art, but the yarn is your art. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm not gonna hold you on here forever, but I wanna show you what the yarn looks like or the single looks like that we've been spinning together. I hope you had as much fun as I did spinning that yarn and spinning along with me. If you found this over the shoulder spinning lesson helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me know what you'd like to see more of. And if you have any more specific questions or lessons you'd like me to cover, different styles of spinning maybe you were interested in learning, please drop those in the comment section below. I do read and respond to all of your comments and I love hearing from you. If you'd like to support me in a little more of a direct way, I'm going to leave a link to my Etsy store in the description below. And feel free to subscribe if you want more over the shoulder spinning lessons and to learn more about Angora rabbits and fiber arts. Till next time guys, take care.